Well, Chris, thanks for coming along to the, the BIM Day Out. Tell us a little bit about your, yourself and, and Trimble and BIM. Yeah, sure thing. Great to be here. Uh, myself, I've been in the construction industry for about five years. Fell in love with BIM in 2008 and just knew it was the way forward. Uh, Trimble Navigation has certainly decided to take a big leap forward in the way that they perceive BIM. It's really centered around the design, build, operate uh, of the different bespoke systems that they're putting together. And so we're starting to see a lot of vision in terms of what uh, different products that they're starting to use to target certain aspects of the workflows that different users of the industry are, are getting involved in. So for example, in the GCCM, we're looking at products like Model Logics, which allows a, a general contractor to assess or validate a cost model before moving it and progressing it into a tool like Tecla uh, to actually create the design before they're costing it in Vico Office and then ultimately managing it in Prolog. And so here we go where we're looking at a life cycle where we're not uh, overlaying or overcomplicating multiple different disciplines, uh, but we're focusing on certain workflows to make the general contractor the most successful. Excellent. Um, and what about the BIM Day Out uh, uh, sparked your interest to get involved? I mean, it was a lot of things, but I think BIM in Australia is definitely starting to pave a way. BIM around the world is really what's going to be the driving force between making construction companies more successful when delivering a project versus uh, not doing these types of traditional workflows, uh, doing these traditional workflows and not really managing uh, the project to the fullest extent with the data richness that they have available to them. And so being here at the BIM Day Out was an opportunity to meet my colleagues, make new friends, have some fun and learn. And I think that that's part of the experience. What, uh, what are some of the BIM events you've attended recently, like here or overseas? Uh, so I was involved in speaking at the uh, Consensus BIM Forum in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, we did the CPM conference in uh, New Orleans this last year, which was a lot of fun. I did the American College of Construction Lawyers, which is not really a BIM conference, but we did speak about BIM, and I think that we were able to pave the way. Uh, what I'm really looking forward to is the 5D conference in Lake Constance in Germany coming up in October, and then the same conference or 4D visualization conference in London at the same time. Fantastic. Yeah. What, um, what do you think the attendees will, will pick up from your presentation or, or your involvement? I think that... Well, really my hope is is that the learning that BIM isn't just about the technology, it's the process. Whether it's social, whether it's business, whether it's just getting involved, it really is a lot more about being part of that collaboration. And I think that that's what's most exciting about being able to bring all these great minds together. Uh, and lastly, keeping in the theme of the event, what was the last concert uh, you attended? So I went to the Sydney Opera House and I saw Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, which was incredible for me. But I am looking forward to going Frank Ocean next week in Splendor in the Grass, so that should be pretty good. Excellent answers. Uh, well, thanks very much for your involvement, and we'll see you again. Thank you so much.